everyone welcome to my channel in today's video i'm going to share with you how to draft a bustier pattern if this is the first time you are trying to learn how to draft a bustier or you're not that conversant with bustier don't worry this video is a beginner friendly tutorial i'm going to teach you the standard measurement and the tips and tricks on how to achieve a perfect bustier in this channel i do pattern drafting sewing tutorial i share tips sewing tips and tricks and if these are all the things you want to learn please subscribe and click the notification bell to get notified whenever i upload new videos let's get started i've gone ahead to draw a straight line to serve as my starting line so on that starting line i'm going to place my shoulder measurement my shoulder divided by two will give me eight inches i'll mark the eight inches then i'll place my tape from that shoulder line to take my chest line my bust my under bust and also my waist measurement the chest line is 8 inches, the bust is 10, the under bust is 13.5 and the waist is 16 inches. In order to get my chest line, I divided my shoulder by 2 and I got my chest line. Or you can use the standard measurement to get your chest line which is your bust divided by 6 plus 1.5 inches. So I have come directly under the 8 inches to get the same measurement I got at the other side so that I will have a straight line. When I'm done with that, I will draw a straight line connecting the two dots. This is in order for me to achieve a straight line on each of the measurements. Once I'm done with that, I'll place my tape on the shoulder line to get the neck width. The neck width I'll use for this work is three inches this is not really important for a strapless bustier but i'm doing this because i promised a beginner friendly tutorial and just in case you'll be needing a yoke for your bustier this is going to help you to achieve your yoke after that i came down one inch from the shoulder line to create my shoulder slope then i will use a straight line to connect from the one inch to the chest line the next thing i'll do is to create my dart line in order to achieve my dart line i'll use my nipple to nipple measurement divided by two and i will get four inches before i continue i'll label the line so we don't get confused at any point of the tutorial the first line is the chest line the second is the bust the third is the under bust and the last line is the waistline once that is done, I'll mark the nipple to nipple measurement on the bust, the under bust, and also the waistline. Then I'll connect it with a straight line. After that, I'll place my tape on the shoulder line and get the midpoint, which will be 2.5 inches. Then I'll connect it straight to the dart line. Once that is done, the next thing I'll do is to contour the under bust. In order to achieve that, I'll use the standard formula for it, which is the round bust measurement minus the under bust. Whatever you have, you divide it by 4. For this work, the round bust measurement is 35 and the round under bust measurement is 29. So 35 minus 29 will give me 6 inches. 6 inches divided by 4 will give me 1.5. So I will use the 1.5 to tighten the under bust. I will use 1 inch towards the side front and 0 0.5 towards the center front. Then I will connect it with a straight line from the under bust down to the waistline. Once that is done, I will come to the bust line and I will come down by 1 inch and go up by 1 inch. After that, I will use a French curve to create a curve from that 1 inch down to the under bust this way. And I'll do it on the other side. Once that is done, I'll go up by 1.5 inch from the chest line to create the over bust line. Then I'll draw a straight line. Before I continue, I'll create the armhole for those who need a yoke for their bustier. So I'll look for the midpoint of the armhole. Then at that midpoint, I'll go in by 0.5 inch. Then at that chest line, I'll get the bust divided by 4. I'll mark it on the chest line. Then I'll create my armhole curve connecting from that one inch shoulder slope to the 0 0.5 inch to the chest line once that is done i'll create my over bust that on that over bust line that i drew that is the line be above the chest line i'll place 0 0.75 on each side of the line then i'll use a french curve to connect it to the one inch above the bust line After that, the next thing I'll do, I'll come down by 0.5 inch from the chest line. Then I'll connect from the dart leg that is facing the center 
front i'll connect it down this way to that 0.5 creating a sweet that neckline once that is done i will blend in the second dart leg to the armhole if you are trying to achieve a strapless bustier or a bustier without arm this is it but if you need a yoke for your bustier then you go ahead and create a neckline this way the next thing i'll do is to impute the round bodies measurement please don't forget to subscribe and click notification bell to get notified whenever I upload new videos. So on the chest line, I've placed the round bust measurements already. I'll, I replace the dart I took, that allowance I took. And I'll also place the under bust measurement, which is 29 divided by 4, will give me 7.25. I'll place the 7.25 and also replace the dart allowance. I'll do the same thing for the waist. After I placed the waist measurement, I added 1.5 inch for sewing allowance. I'll do the same thing for the under bust, the bust and also the chest line. Once I'm done with that, I'll connect the lines to create the shape for the bustier. As you can see, the bustier is looking really beautiful. So the next thing I'll do is to add 1 inch for sewing allowance. I'll draw a straight line to connect it. And I've labeled it the center front and the side front. So that's basically all for the front bodies. I'll go ahead now and draft out the back bodies before I show you how to cut it. So I've drawn a straight line to mark as the shoulder line. So I'll take the shoulder measurement, I'll place my tape from the shoulder line and I'll mark the chest line, the bust line and the waist. I'll also place the tape directly under the 8 inches mark for the shoulder. Then I'll mark the same measurement. The difference now between the front and the back bodies for this measurement is that there will be no need for under bust here. So the next thing I'll do now is to mark all the measurements using a straight line. After that, I'll connect the shoulder to the chest line with a straight line. After that, on the bust line, I'll take the dart measurement which is 4 inches. Then I'll connect the 4 inches down to the waist line. Once that is done, I'll mark 0.5 inch on both sides of the dart line. Once that is done, I'll go up by 1 inch from the bust line then i'll connect from that one inch down to the 0.5 inch on both sides once that is done i'll place my tape on my armhole line and i'll come down from the shoulder line by one inch then i'll take the neck width also which is three inches then i'll create my shoulder slope connecting from that neck width down to the one inch once that is done i'll place my tape on my chest line then i'll mark my bust divided by four then I'll place my 1.5 inch for sewing allowance. I'll come to the waist and impute the waist measurement and replace the 1 inch that I took and also impute 1.5 inch for sewing allowance. Then I'll connect the lines. After that, I'll place my tape from my chest line and I'll come down by 0.5 inch. Then I'll create a kind of a shape to give my back bodies a kind of fitting. See, if it's is done if you want to have a strapless bustier or an off shoulder bustier if you notice i didn't put a zipper allowance so you put a zipper allowance before you start your cutting if you want to use a zipper that is basically all for a strapless bustier but if you want to have a yoke for this bustier you go to the neckline and come down by one inch then you go to the chest line and go in by three inches then you create a keyhole you can do this if this is what you want so the next thing I'll do now is to cut. I'll start with the front. I want you to pay close attention to how I'll cut this. I'm going to first of all cut out the basic pattern first before I start cutting out the dart. So this is all on how to cut a bustier. You can use this upper part as a yoke if you want if you want. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more. See you in my next video.